everyone, it's Desiree, and grab your stuff. We're going to try something a little different here. Not quite sure how it's going to go, but we're going to see what it looks like. I don't know. So this is just something, don't, don't even have a prototype. I just turned on the phone and went to town. So what I'm doing is I have these two punches. Um by Martha Stewart so one's a bunch of hearts and one is butterfly so you get multiple right off the bat and then I have this piece of uh, music paper where I'm literally just going to uh, I'm gonna cut this edge off I'm gonna stamp and or not stamp I'm going to punch and do cutouts and I have two little tiny bowls here um, to have some fun with it. So I'm just going to go punch away. Now I'm thinking with um, you want to have a paper. Now you can use um, pattern paper. You know, again, whatever you have. But it does have to be double-sided with what my idea is here. Um, you don't want a single-sided. So I'm going to do a few more of these. So you could do book pages if you don't have pattern paper. Um, it could be pages that are already inked up. I mean, you could just have, you know, a lot of fun with them. I'm just going to use a piece of paper here to pick these up and throw them in there. I think I'm going to do just a couple more. Um, but again, you just, I think this will work best with double-sided. So I thought the music sheet paper... Well, the book pages will probably be the best thing here. All right, I think I have enough hearts. Let's do some butterflies. Okay, I'm just going to do a bunch. And I'm not caring what I'm stamping. Or, oh, God, here I go again with the stamping. Um, with what I'm punching, um, I just want to make sure that I have a bunch going on here. And then I'm going to make sure, okay, so that, now that's just a cute, I've got to keep this. <laughs> These are cute strips. You never know, I'm going to cut right down between that. Cut into that one. And then we'll do this. All right, let's do just a few more. We'll do take up this page. All right, that's enough butterflies. And then we'll come down the other side with hearts. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so I have these tags, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some, we've all seen these tags that I have, I've got some pattern paper here, I thought it was really pretty, um, it is one-sided. So I'm going to turn this over and I want to glue my tag onto this. And I'm just going to stick this down. Right. Thank you. 
make sure that's sticking. So I'm gonna use my little brayer to push down. And then I'm gonna cut that out. Now this paper is thin, so the way that I'm doing this, you do want to make sure that you have thin paper. Now you could use coffee dyed paper as well. Um, but not a thick cardstock. Now you could use a thick cardstock if that's what you're making your tag out of. Now again, it can be any tag that you want. Um, I fell in love with this paper. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, <laughs> all right. So now I want to make sure that I'm on this side here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to glue another one. And now I'm going to come down here and we'll see what this does. Bang. Tack it with the brayer. So I'm going to cover this as well. Actually, you won't see this side. And I'm going to trim this up as well. Oh, I love the way that went through. Now, I need these to dry. Again, use what you have in your stash. Again, you'll know these are dry once they warm up um, and so forth. So, now, what I want to do is I want to create another one. Um, I think I like this with that. So I'll glue another one on. Because it needs a backing. And I think that's light enough that it will, you can write on it. Because again, we need to be able to write. And then I'm probably going to use a piece of coffee, coffee stained paper for the other one. So I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Um, with everything. Easter was, um, Easter was fun actually. Um, it was different. Let me grab a piece of coffee paper here. Oh, oh there's a bit of poosh. Can't find it. You think I have it here. Where did I put it up? Oh my goodness. Seriously? Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, this was an idea that I had. Yeah, no. Um, but I did figure all of that stuff out, which we'll be seeing. Um, it was it was the first time I had heard everybody you know talking about Zoom and uh, getting the family on like a Skype or something like that. So it was kind of it was cool. Got to see everyone. Um, and I think that's going to be, we're going to keep on doing that. It's a great way to get with everyone and to see them. Um, it's funny when people don't, they're not used to it. So it was funny. Everyone was trying to talk. 
So I was going to just sit back and actually while while we did that, I actually filmed um, one of my videos and everyone's like, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm filming a video. Get being creative and having fun so my people can see this. Um, so everyone was just laughing um, with that. All right, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to put the wrong sides together. I really hope this works. And I'm going to hold it up here. And then I've got this two and a quarter inch circle punch. And I'm going to put both of these layers down in here. I think I got them both. And I'm just going to center this, but I'm going to push it down all the way. However far it's going to go when it's even. And we're going to punch. Oh, yay. It worked. Okay. So now I've got that. Looks like a wine topper thing, right? All right. Oh, wine. And these will be great for other embellishments. Oh, I'll have to hold on to this. Okay. So now that I have these, now what I want to do is I had, you can hear them. These are transparency sheets. Um, I, I had an idea, but unfortunately, when you put a heat tool to these, yeah, it really um, had an awesome idea. Hmm. Transparency sheets do not work. Just saying. So what I'm going to do, though, what will work is I am going to trim these. Now, these are a little over three inches. So I'm going to real quick get my cutter in here. And I'm going to need two. So I'm just going to trim this down to be two and three quarters. And I think I'm going to do a block. Hopefully that'll work. Well, you know what? I'll do this one three and a half. So two and three quarters wide and three and a half inches long. Okay. And I better cut two more of those because I'm going to try to make two. Um, but yeah, I was really upset when it, <laughs> it melted up. There were no fires. <laughs> um, but yeah, my idea just so did not work. I'm very upset. Now, you don't have to use, I just happen to have these. Um, you can use packaging you know or, or whatever you have you know with everything that we order and I'm going to get these glued in place so it's actually bringing back my um, card making shaker cards so I'm going to set that down there and I'm going to push away from the circle so that the glue doesn't come forward and then I'm going to do the same thing on this one And I'm going to set that one down as well. And again, pushing away from the center of the circle so that the glue doesn't come forward. I can clean up the edges on that. So that will dry. And I have a spot. Now how can I clean up that spot? Let's see. Is it that side? Let's see. Ah, we're good with it. All right. So I have these clear panels now that are sitting in there. So I'm going to take one and put it upside down. And I'm just going to take some of these hearts or butterflies. And I'm just going to place them in here. Just arrange them because I don't know what this will do. I don't want to put glue down um, on them because you'll see the glue. But I just want to make sure that 
you know, the hearts are filling up this center, even if they're, you know, coming off of it or anything like that. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, come on. What's the fun in being creative and just saying, hey, let's try this, right? Right. So I'm just going to fill her up. See what that does. You know what? I want my hearts in this one. Okay, I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> okay, hearts. We're going to sprinkle hearts. All right, so let's separate these out. That's a bit hard. We're just going to separate them. So you can see why you need paper that's double-sided. All right, because you're going to just push these together. Now, there is a level of static cling going on. Now, you can also do this with sequins. You can do this with, you know, all kinds of things. And now that I said that, you know what I'm grabbing next, right? Yes! Let's see. Um, hang on. Oh, and I see what I want here. So these are by Darice. They're confetti um, circles, which means, you know, they're not sequins. They have, um, they're solid. So I'm just going to, and now they're sticking to my hands. Let's see. And we'll just place them around. Okay. This is not for the fingers. Hard here. All right. So let's just go with that. Get that in there. Get that in there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I want to have a strong glue. So I'm not going to use my glue stick. Not that that's not strong. It is. But I really want to have a liquid glue here. And I'm going to take this right up to the edge. And I'm going to come right around the edge here. Again, just being careful that okay, that's on the outside. I can get that later. Now, this is going to cause some static cling. See how it grabbed onto it? Okay. And now I'm just going to, again, I'm going to push away from the circle, but for pressure. And then I'm going to do that. You can see how the glue is coming in. So we'll actually see what that looks like. But I'm going to push it. All right. And I'm going to push down. We'll see what that looks like. Okay. So that's the kind of what we have there. It's something a little different. I don't know. I was just having fun because I have this and like, what can I make? Um, so if I look at, again, if we grab a journal, you know, if we have this sitting here at, wow. Yeah. If we have a journal sitting here. Oh guys, I'm a mess today. I'm an absolute mess today. Now I've got confetti going on. <laughs> My <job> journal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. It's just getting worse. It's just getting worse. But that's okay. Nobody said we were 
meat crafters, right? Because I am so not that. All right. Okay, they're back in. So, you can see, you would be able to see through wherever you put this. Now, again, since this is light, they would still be able, and it creates, you know, depending upon how you do this, a little tiny shaker. Now, this isn't done. This is just the base of that. Okay. So, let's look at our other one. And let's do the same thing. So again, your wrong sides are together. And I'm going to hold them and I'm going to grab my... Um, now again, my circle is two and a quarter inches. But you can use a square. Um, it's I'm kind of, again, always being inspired. But if we combine the, the shaker element... Um, those, uh, what are they called? Specimen cards. Okay. Um, it kind of is, is combining, you know, all of that. I love to have tags um, in mine. I'm a big tag person especially around the holidays. I love making tags. I could make tags all day. And we'll put this one down, not with the little tiny triangle. And we'll put that down and let's put the butterflies in this one. So again, we'll just mush them around. It would be neat if you had, you could even use solid cardstock. I mean, why not? Um, that would be fun. some small ones here put that one right there and we'll put some sequins in there or confetti they're not sequins and then again I'm going to use my glue to come around And I'm going to pick that up, try not to get glue all over my fingers, turn this around, and then I'm going to start at the bottom, match them up, and then lay that down. Okay, I did better with the glue. And just make sure you've got, you know, your edges sealed. Now, again, this just starts it. And it doesn't mean, I mean, now you can leave it just like this. Okay, so I can come across. I'm going to close that because I'll end up spilling it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, these are going to be awesome to figure something out. But we can also find ways to close that up. See, as you tap it, it moves. So that's cool. Okay. So let's. I want to add some uh, material and some papers. Let's add some of this. I have yet to master the um, 
ruler as other has I cannot and there we go see ha 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 we can we can close that <laughs> There's always ways, if there's something that you don't like, that we can cover. So I want to put that there. Now remember, because you do have the other side, if this is sitting there, all right, remember, you're going to have that over there. So what we'll do is we will glue this down because I'm actually going to run this through the sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that over and now I can get another piece of the front paper that I used. And it doesn't have to be an exact fit um, because remember you're just looking to cover that section up right there. So again, what I'm going to make sure on this one, I'm just gonna make sure I ink up the sides. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in here in case that shows just a little bit, because again, I'm not going to be able to match it up perfectly. Just make sure that's covered up and then I'll be able to come in just like that. So this one can be longer. And we can do that. So see, even though I might be seeing that there, it's just you know, the vintage photo that you're seeing. Um, let's see. And actually, you know what? I think I'm liking that, but I do want a piece of book page. Let's see here. Where is that? I had a book page around here. Or I should say a piece of very fine dictionary and I want that to come in here like that same thing I like it when the <clears throat> pieces are, um, now I'm not going to do too much on this side here, only because we want to be able to have a spot for journaling. Um, but I do like it when the edges can curl up. And I'll just use my simmer scissors. I've been having a problem saying the word scissors. I've been saying sisters, simmers, everything else. I'm not quite sure what that is about, but okay. And I am going to go around both sides. And remember, just because this is a tag, you know, you don't have to punch a hole in it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go down with my sewing machine on this just along this edge all right and we'll be right back okay and there you go so now i just got that sewing down on this side it didn't break anything <laughs> and then i have it going on over here as well so we have our journal spots over here and again it's just something different if you have if you're not sure what to do with that plastic um packaging that you get um with the things that um you know we should order or anything else we'll see how that comes out as well um, we'll see what that looks like because i did a lot better on this one 
um, when it comes to that. So again, just something a little bit different. You know, something simple doesn't have to be too bulky. Got a piece of paper going down there. So I want to do the same thing um, on this one. Now again, the beauty of this, if I have this going down like that, you're going to see that on the other side. So that's actually, you know, okay for that. But you know me, I'm actually just gonna take that and I'm just gonna go right there. So we get many things, whether we're ordering or we know somebody. Um, there are ways that we can use these items. Gotta put that right there. That piece there just looks like it's fun. Again, we can still journal. It's still okay. That's kind of cool the way that it peeps through like that. So it kind of puts in that hole and I'm going to make sure that I do ink that other side up as well. I think that's neat the way that that's coming through and again we're just going to trim this this one I'm not going to put any stitching on I mean you always you don't always have to put stitching on some of us may not have a um, oh I keep that you know we may not have a sewing machine um, so it looks good with or without. So just some differences. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't put, you know, some things coming off of that. Because again, I always have my edge to let that lift itself up. Let's see. I've got so many types of stamps and everything else that I have here. They're fun. Although I have a piece of this. That looks fun. That there. Here's a piece of that. Oh, look at this. Okay, give me that. I'm seeing a button coming into my future here. Are you all seeing that? Cute little cluster coming up here. Oh, yes. Oh yes, I need a button. Need a button. I like that one. I just have general buttons. They're not, again, my, um, the journals that I do are vintage style. Um, they're not, you know, with true vintage items. Some of them are. Um, so, 
I just like to always state that I'm looking for a needle now. There's a needle. And we'll use a piece of twine. And what I'll do this is I call this tacking. Yes, I'm remembering that from my quilt days. So I'm going to go down through everything. And then I'm going to hopefully come up. To, well, never be able to do that again. And I'm just going to tie a knot. So I'm going to do a double so that it holds it. And pull tight. I'm going to come back around. Okay, I wonder if I have enough here for a bow. You all know I don't like doing bows because I can't do bows. Okay, you all are channeling for me. Thank you. Because everything worked the way that it should. All right, so. I could just sit here and actually just put that right there. Maybe right there. No, got to have the tassels coming down. So, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my fabric tack glue for this one. I'm going to need something super strong. I'm just going to focus on the center. Get that going right. And we're going to place it. I have to place it off to the side. I can't go straight down onto it. <laughs> All right. Put my cap back on. There you go just a little bit of embellishment on that i think this is really cute um, now if you don't have um clear packaging or acetate or anything like that you can also use tool you know you can put a layer of this down and then a layer on the other side you can use that as well you can use um vellum tracing paper all kinds of, of different things. You don't have to have this clear um, plastic. But again, it's just something, you know, a little bit different. Um, you could just cut pieces of little pieces of cardstock. Again, you could just use sequins. You don't have to use punches. You know, again, use what you have um, going on. And again, this one is just very simple very plain but yet you've got your collage going on there you can add more lace you know coming down i love to make these clusters um, i just sit in front of the tv and i like to do the, the the ripples in the material too i think gail showed those i think she had a video if i'm not mistaken it was like the top five or ten things that you can do in front of the tv Oh, that was an awesome video. Yes. So, you know, I'm just constantly moving um, as I go. So, again, you don't have to use tags. You can create your own tag. You can use cardstock. You know, whatever it is to do that, you know, please, you know, feel free. Have fun with it. Um, you know, when you make mistakes with the glue, that's fine. We can cover that up and put different pieces of, of cardstock around and, um, have it going through that will dry clear so you know that shouldn't be an issue but again it's handmade you know so again just some ideas you know, it doesn't have to be a tag shape it could be a square it could you know, again whatever it is let your imagination grow 
let your imagination have fun um, and enjoy enjoy creating um, I'm coming up different ways of uh, creating things for your journal or whatever it is you're crafting maybe you're not creating journals. Maybe you just want to sit down with a bunch of paper and just have at it. Um, paper is a great medium. I've always said that. Um, people laugh when I say we can rip it, we can tear it, we can shred it, we can crumble it, we can ink it, we can stamp on it, we can dye it, we can do so many things with paper. And even the better thing of paper is it's got two sides. Um, so again, just something that I, again, tried it on here and it like it. I think it kind of worked. So these will go into my finished stack um, and we can just have fun. Um, now I think I'm just going to um, collage. But I do hope um, everyone enjoyed that project, um, had fun with it. As always, I always have the list of things that I use um, when it comes to my junk journals. There are things that are specific um, that I work with. Um, for the items that I do make, and as always, they'll be listed down below. But again, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please make sure you get back to me. And I will make sure that I get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Um, make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next... Uh, video is live and ready for you to watch. I'm actually getting better and making these just a little bit shorter. It's amazing. Although I'll probably go back to the longer ones and be more Gabby because that's who I am. Um, I do hope everyone is safe and healthy um, and that we will continue to stay that way. Um, but enjoy crafting. This has been my vice um, to keep me calm as we continue to go day by day here. But remember, what's always important to me, again, it helps me and I hope it does help you. Always be creative. Until next time, guys. Take care.